Hi everybody, this is Gamothor bringing you a VP Gamers matchup. Zerg, who is played by Ice, and Spaltzer, who is Protoss. And let's go ahead and get things underway. Start off with the old production of uh, your drones and probes. Some overlord scouting. We're going to go ahead and speed it up just a bit to get past the uh, early on here. Until we get something a little bit different than your normal start. Okay, we got some pylon action going on here. Ops to not scout with the pylon first. Pylon probe, that is. Chrono boost in a probe here. Got some more drones. Looks like he's going for some eco. Gateway, there's the scout. goes. Let's go ahead and slow on down. Follow him. Look, he already has the box rally point set up. While he was doing that, I don't believe Spalter has seen it. Nope. Early expansion. He has no idea what's going on right now. Kind of just going around and seeing if he's going to six pool him. Obviously, he wasn't. Second pylon, second gateway. First zealot. No chrono boost, though. Definitely has some. Oh, there it goes. Compare right here 15 to 15, 2 2. Basically, a pretty uh, mirror right now. Um, except he has two gateways. Plenty pool not up yet. Hatchery not up yet. And the scout did not check out his uh, his expansion. Big mistake. If that just happened. Okay, moving along. An early rush of Delt probably would have ended this game pretty quick here. Ice is not ready. And by the way, that is an I uppercase, not a lowercase L for lice. Just wanted to point that out. Alright, here comes the early zealot. Push forward. He's setting up the rally points. Three gateway. He's getting some gas. He has to spend the gas. Wondering what he's going to spend it on. Hatchery's underway. No spying crawlers or anything yet. Uh, if you notice, the Zerg has not scouted the Protoss yet. Must not be worried about it. Let's see if what happens here. Oh, how did he sell the creep? Then he knew he had an expansion going on. Looks like he's pop caps. That's a problem. He's gonna micro some drone action here. He's gonna keep building. Oh, there goes the Overlord. We're just a little late. Ah, the drones are getting decimated. And the Zerglings. Ah, but here come some reinforcements. For both sides. More Zealots. More Zerglings. Got his queen out. Producing more larva. Still the same stuff here. A lot of gas. Not spending it on anything. About the same in the economy. 12 Zerg. Oh, there. 20 Zerglings versus 8 Zealots. And some Broodling for a small period of time. Here come the Spine Crawlers. Let's see if they can get up in time or if he can delay. Oh, there's the speed increase for that surrounding action. Now that queen is rocking and getting rocked. Will it survive? Oh, it did not. Oh, that zealot didn't either. Some, some kind of macro or micro rather. Running away here. There comes a cybernetic core, another gateway. Maybe he's gonna do a four gate push. Some Zergling surrounding. Upgrading the... Oh, Lair almost done. 
need to get that second hatchery back going so we get some economy up and running again. Right now the Toss seem to have more income. Ah, oh, they're basically right on the spot. A lot more producing it up here. Getting some more gas. What is his move? Maybe some mutalisks. Maybe not. Should do some scouting. Right here. Some zerglings hanging out outside the base. Setting up some rally, maybe. No. Ah, the queen is back. Oh, he went up the hill, but realized that was a death trap. One way in, no way out. Well, well, other than the big ramp. And that's the ramp he chose to go down. Hatchery coming back up. Going for the Roach Warren. Against those zealots, probably a good idea. Do you notice there's some sentries here? Probably to block off that gate. Or that front anyways. Maybe trap half in and trap half out. Give the zealots the advantage. Going warp gates. A lot of sentries. Maybe that's why he was getting all that gas. It's definitely not using it for stalkers. Probably a bad idea against so many zerglings. Pretty boring right now. Nothing going on. Speed it up just a midge, smidge, or midge. I like to space things out that way. Notice he's looking around his base with some throw-up overlords. Good idea. Good way to spread creep while you're uh, helping the creep tumors go as well. Ah, the pylon for the forward push. But he was able to see it because of that overlord. Pylon denied. Well, you know who would have won that fight? Definitely not the Zerglings. Oh, but when you fail, try, try again. Going on the other side. Here comes the first dance around creep. Slow it down for the epic cinematic battle that may partake. Well, that Overlord had no chance. So look at all those sentries. That is a ton of sentries. That's more, that, more sentries than zealots. Love it. Spacing out those roaches. Not that I don't necessarily needed to. There he goes. Taking out that lair, hive, hatchery. One of those buildings. He's just going a little force field crazy now. While that's happening, he's stirring up his forces. Grouping them all up. Keeping the queen nice and safe for the forward push. He's going to use his height advantage right here and some mine crawlers. Pretty good narrow gateway or uh, entry point, being able to pick him off. Oh, but he was able to push through. No production going on on either side. Definitely would have been a good idea. Maybe use those lava right there. Oh, just warped in some more zealots right here. Zerg does not have the upper hand, should retreat, and is. 